All right, here we go. Chester RP Church Devotional oh, Podcast. Let's go. Here's Mitch. Leads me. Choose each winding path our trip. Gives me grace for every trial. All right, Isaiah chapter 55, as we turn our attention to the living bread, which is the word of God. For Jesus says, man does not live by bread alone, but by the very words from God that come out of the mouth of God. Isaiah chapter 55, we spent two weeks uh, yesterday in the first part of chapter five, uh, 55, excuse me, we're going to go today in the second part of chapter 55, Isaiah, beginning in verse six is what the Lord says. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked one abandon his way and the sinful one his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord so that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will freely forgive. For my thoughts are not your thoughts and your ways are not my ways. This is the Lord's declaration. For as, high, for as heaven is higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For just as rain and snow fall from heaven and do not return there, without saturating the earth and making it germinate and sprout, and providing seed to sow and food to eat, so my word that comes from my mouth will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I please and I and will prosper in what I send it to do. You will indeed go out with joy and be peacefully guided. The mountains and the hills will break into singing before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush, a cypress will come up, and instead of the briar, a myrtle will come up. This will stand as a monument for the Lord, an everlasting sign that will not be destroyed. Now, there's a tremendous promise here at the end of this section in Isaiah 55 of the blessing of God that comes upon the people of God as they go out into the world, that uh, they will go out and be uh, received with joy and peacefully guided and uh, welcomed into the mountains. They'll break into singing before the people of God and the trees and the field will clap their hands when they see the salvation of the Lord and the redemption of his people. There will not be thorn brushes, but rather cypress trees. There will not be briars, but rather myrtles and flowers will come up. Uh, They will stand as a monument to the Lord, an everlasting sign that will not be destroyed, for it is a reminder to his people and to us of the goodness and the grace of God. That promise comes at the conclusion of a section in Isaiah 55 that I just read, beginning in verse 6, that challenges us and challenges those people of God in Isaiah's prophecy who would have received it to seek the Lord and seek him while he may be found. That is the point. Seek the Lord while he may be found. That participial phrase, while he may be found, is very important. The call on us is to seek the Lord, but there is going to be a time when the Lord will not be found. He can be found now in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. He can be found in his word, and we seek him out. We seek him out through the ministry of his spirit and his word, living in relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We seek him while he may be found. There's going to be a time when he cannot. Do not delay in your pursuit of of the Lord. Later on, the uh, New Testament writer, I believe it's the author of Hebrews, will say, um, harden not your hearts for today is the day of salvation. Today is the opportunity we have to trust Christ, to seek him and to find him. Call upon him while he is near. The wicked abandon his way. Repent of your sins. Call upon the Lord. Abandon that way in which you are living and come and live in relationship with the Lord. Return to the Lord. The Lord may have compassion on you. And to our God, for he will freely forgive. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. He will freely forgive. And the call upon us is to turn and follow him and to seek him while he may be found. That's an incredibly important point. Then God goes on and says, you won't understand this, for my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your thoughts, not your ways. We often don't understand how God works, why God works, and why he does what he does. But we know this, his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. But he is constantly working to bring about the redemption of his people. 
to save them by his grace, to bring them into relationship with him, that they may live in eternity with him. And he is doing it fr- as uh, he is doing it through the word of God, as it is ministered to his people. For he says, for just as rain fall from heaven uh, and do not return there without saturating the earth and bring germination and sprout to the seeds of the earth, providing seed to sow and food to eat, etc. So my word does not go out and return to me void. It accomplishes my purposes. How does that do it? Well, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And so they accomplish it according to his purposes, according to his will, in ways that we may or may not understand. But we do know this. One, we are called to seek him while he may be found. Two, we are called to repent and follow him uh, and, and live in relationship with him. Three, we are called to trust him as the great God of all glory. And four, we're called to live in the reality of his word, minister Him, minister his word to people, encourage one another with his word, trusting that he is going to accomplish his will and trusting that the promise we read at the very beginning of this podcast, and we emphasize the beginning of this explanation period, will indeed come to fruition. You will go out with joy. You will be peacefully guided. The mountains will break out in song of celebration. The trees will clap their hands for the people of God will be made known by God to the world that he has created. May, may God forever be praised and may we be encouraged with that truth. Repent, follow him, trust him, walk with him, minister his word and allow his word to minister to you for he is found in his word. You guys have a great day. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Yeah. Okay.